Yo, what is up guys? Yuki here, back with another YouTube video. Today I'm starting a new series where I'll basically solo queue myself to Supersonic Legend in 2v2. Hopefully I can give you guys some tips for you to improve as well. If you enjoy the content, please hit the subscribe button, rate the video with a thumbs up, and also type something in the comments for the YouTube algorithm so we can grow a bigger community and reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Thank you so much. With that being said, let's not waste any more time and let's jump straight into the video. All right, so we're going to start off with 1250 MMR, which is basically champion two division three. So we're going to start off with that and try to reach supersonic legend. Okay, this is going to be our first game. Uh, I'm not going to go too crazy, obviously, because otherwise that would be a little bit unfair. But yeah, this is basically champion two level. Let's see how they play. Alright, already not too bad. I mean, they can hit the ball. She tried to recover. Got it over him. Power slide cut, close. Really good touch, but I don't think that was meant to be that way. Try and go for a small air dribble. And that works. Alright, this is the first goal. Um, Alright, there wasn't even the craziest air dribble, but it worked pretty well. Let's see, they on the kickoff, goes back, just gonna wait, technically have to challenge. Um, he did a really good uh, first touch there to force me, he just passed me the ball, just gonna cut it. Alright, let me chill out for a little bit more here, stay behind my teammates, he's gonna start any play, but it's actually in. It was well played by him to be honest. That ground thing past my teammate was really good, and then he also cut it towards the net, so that was pretty good. Maybe I should not chill out. <laughs> I can tell, by the way, that I'm faster on the kickoffs, uh, so I guess they can't use the speed flip yet. My teammate just whiffed the ball. We're gonna go to net first, so we can turn around and boom the ball forward, as you can see, as powerful as possible. Forces him to jump. I'm gonna steal this boost, rotate by my teammate through the midfield, so I always cover the net. Now I can go in and just challenge. Um, it's a difficult shot. Can he score it? He actually put it on target, so well played by him. Just gonna take control and flick it when he comes closer. Now I can double jump. Yeah, as you can see, most important thing was not to just hit this ball away, like just take my time, catch it, and as soon as I see the opponent driving forward, I flick it over him. And then I had a really good recovery as well. Alright, stay back here on the kickoff. I'm uh, just gonna. I'm not gonna pass the midline. He, they're just gonna boom the ball. As you can see, he just they basically did two unnecessary touches. Um, because at the end of the day, if you just chill out, um, they can't do much. Not gonna pay too much. I'm just gonna steal the boost. Let them hit the ball towards us. As you can see, he'll just pass it to us. Stay mid right behind my teammates. Don't have to go too close, really. Now I can go in and take a shot. Should have scored that. Um, it's okay, though. Don't need to, like, go too crazy, as I said. You still a boost away from him, but always try to cover my net, if possible. Take my time on a dribble. Double pop over the first one. Second one has it, though. Good positioning by him to stay in the net there. I can challenge in here. Try and just stay, like, just keep touching the ball and bump him, really. And go behind my teammate again. Use a little bit too much boost, but that's fine. I just can get three pads here. Fake that I'm challenging, take the boost, because he turned towards the wall too early. Good job by my teammate already. Go behind him again, and now I can go in for the ball. Let's tap it somewhere soft where it's awkward for them. Teammate rushes in. We'll just stay patient. Okay, I just covered the net the whole time. He's panicking himself on the dribble. Try and pop it over that guy. He's, he's gonna be first, that's why I'm turning away. Always gotta focus on the cars as well, right? Like what the opponent is trying to do. Team is struggling, so we just take over and take a flick. Could have been in a goal. I'm just not gonna let them panic. And we take the goal. Nice. As you can see, I mean, obviously I'm... Uh, able to just play on a faster uh, speed right so it's gonna be a little bit easier for me to punish them right but 
Honestly, I'm not doing too much. Like, nothing crazy. It's just the right thing to do, basically. It goes to the corner, so we don't want to follow that. Because we have to just cover the net, right? Okay, they missed themselves. I mean, it wasn't an easy shot. It just bumped me away. Technically, I could have scored, but, you know, we don't want to go too crazy, as I said. Really good setup. Should technically just take a shot. Well played. That is honestly all my teammate there. I mean, in my opinion, the shot is not that difficult. I just have to be in the right position. A really good first game. Uh, let's take a look what rank all of the lobby has. If I was correct with champ 2. Yes. So we are champ 2 division 3 or 4 right now. So let's get into game 2. Okay. This is going to be game 2. Let's see how the kickoff goes. He kind of won it in a way. I mean he lost it but I didn't follow up too close so it was fine. I'm just rushing back uh, fast, by the way, like, if you notice one thing, it's probably just that I am able to just recover fast and go back fast. Yeah, I didn't need to challenge that because, like, he was just gonna hit the ball by himself. I'm just gonna delay my touches a bit. Really good save by him. Really good shot by my teammate, though. Honestly, this level is not even that bad, uh, in my opinion. I mean, my teammate read the bounce perfectly and placed it really good. And that was a really good... Read and goal. I'm gonna be going back right here. It's, it's bouncing towards the net. We're just gonna wait for his touches. Just waiting in net, really. They panic themselves. Now I move out because I see the chance. Try and recover and 50. That was a bad 50 of my big goal. Unfortunate. Yeah. That was my bad on the recovery here on the 50. Didn't really need to touch it or I could have recovered faster as well if I really tried to be any good. Single jump into that kickoff because sometimes it's a good thing to recover fast. Um, just gonna let my teammate touch the ball. This is really awkward. Try not to do this kind of stuff what he just did. Uh, if you pass it back, you just gotta gotta go for it, right? Not just hesitate because then it's just even more awkward. Go for a dribble here. Just take a bounce, fake him probably. Yeah, it didn't really work. He didn't have a challenge, which was good from him. Um, probably should have cut in field, but I wanted to fake him. Okay, we just take some distance because our teammate kind of messed up. Here we take control, but we got to be a little bit speeding up the play again once we take it. Because otherwise we would get, would get bumped. Just gonna double pop. Works pretty well. As you can see, not the craziest mechanical play. I mean, it just requires you to be able to catch the ball and double jump with it, I guess. <laughs> But as you can see, it's very important to have control over the ball and being able to speed up with the ball as well. Which is why I always recommend you guys to practice that a lot in free play. It's a very basic thing um, that requires a lot of practice, obviously, but uh, it's honestly very easy to do and it's so important. Close. Uh, okay, that was a bit of a play, in my opinion, that was already required. Like, very good speed. Because I recovered super fast. A really good job by my team to be ready in the midfield again. 3-1. See if there's anything I can see. My team is honestly playing really good. I mean, he just like scores everything, it seems. For a champ too. Well played. Okay. Kickoff. I'm not gonna go for too crazy here. I'm just gonna... Tab it down <laughs> and 50 him. Okay. Let's go back towards uh, net here again. Yeah, I'm probably a little bit too far away, but it's okay. As you can see, even though I'm too far away, like nothing really happens. I don't really have to be there yet. Uh, now he wins. Now I can push forward because he took it. Uh, here, I don't want to area. Like, don't commit in their corners, really. It's unnecessary. Always go behind my teammate at the end, so like if he gets beat, I'm already behind him. Stay on the left side here because it seems like the play is gonna be there. Don't have to challenge, just have to stay grounded and take the same speed as the ball. Now I had to react a little bit because I had a bad touch. Here I'm just gonna try and dribble and flick it because he turned. Yeah, so I just paid attention again. It's very important to first catch the ball though here. Like this is important, being able to catch the ball and have control over it. But then focus on the opponent. 
I saw him like trying to turn and then as soon as you know if he wants to turn then I just need to get it over him and then it's basically open right so again super important to focus on the opponent's card as well nice this is going to be or this was game two so now we're gonna get into game three might go into a champion three lobby now let's see all right this is the last game for episode one I'm not sure if we're in a champ 3 lobby, but could be. Alright, we, we don't want to commit for that. Like, always, like, stay and cover the net. Didn't have, don't have to waste any boost yet either. Again, always put your nose towards the net. Okay, teammate jumped, so we didn't have to. Save some boost, stay behind my teammate, really. Nose again, always towards net if you can. Now just get a touch or slash block. Uh, here, we're going to be careful, just take our time here. I uh, see it's awkward to so flick it over him. Take some distance. Try and block him here with a 50. Wasn't the best one, but it's fine. Try to go behind my teammate again. So if he challenges, we're right behind him. That 50 almost went in. Alright. not Don't flip off the wall here because otherwise you take yourself out of the game. You never really want to do that. Mm, nice. Okay, I'm just gonna tap it to speed him up because I saw him trying to beat me here. Okay, I just take a touch over him. Rush back here again. Through the midfield to cover always the net. As you can see now, I could technically save it. If it went in, but teammate just wanted to go to the other side. Really good save from my teammates. This is a wall read that you guys probably can't do. Or maybe you can, but... <laughs> that was probably a bit... If not, it would be fine to just... Go more on the right side, like just stay on the ground and just dribble to the right side would have been fun as well. Um, probably shouldn't have went for that read, but I thought it was the right thing to do. Sometimes it's really difficult to judge, like... Uh, like my first instinct is to jump and try and read it quick, but... Obviously, it's, if you guys can't do that, that's not going to be your first instinct. Just take a soft touch. I'm going to flick it high because he's really awkward, so I can definitely get it over him as you can see. And it forces the second one to waste boost jump. Now they're going to be a little bit lower on boost. So I can just be fast and it should be in, right? Yeah. So again, also have to <laughs> use some logic, right? Like if someone is coming towards you and you have control of the ball, you can flick it over him so that it forces the second one to waste boost and save the ball, right? Uh, and then once he jumps, the other one is going to be awkward and lower of boost, right? And then it's a really good chance to to just be ball chasey, right? Okay, here we gotta be careful because he's still on the ball. I'm just covering the net to play defense. Um, I mean, it wasn't an easy save to be fair, so I'm not really sure what you guys could have also immediately challenged, right? But it's just gonna be risky. Sometimes you gotta also play defense. Okay, I'm just gonna stay here, make him panic. As you can see, like, I literally had to do nothing and <laughs> it was panicking. Just gonna cover my net the whole time. Kind of messed up so we can turn around, flick it high. Forces him to jump, take the boost from him. Cover the net again. And I know this guy has no boost now, right? So I'm in a 1v1 here. Should I try to just power slide cut? Okay, that was a bit too much mechanics, right? Yeah, my bad. Okay, that was a bit too much. But, you know, it's still the same point, right? Like, I faked the whole time never committed stole his boost and always covered my net in case he like actually was able to get a good shot on target then i would just save it but if he does not get it on target i know that i'm in a 1v1 situation because the other one wasted all of his boost so you gotta pay attention to that as well i mean it's just some logic i guess here i'm just always nose towards net he's not going to the goal so we don't even have to touch this ball now we cover the angle of the net again um, gotta rush back because my team is awkward here. Gotta take a touch. Just stay behind my teammate here. He takes a boomer. Almost scored. Try. They panic a little bit. Okay, this is super high. We're just gonna try and like take a dribble. We're gonna force the 50 here. And we still have one other boost. So now we can boom it. Technically, should be a goal. Yeah, as you can see, didn't have to do much. Just you know, stayed behind the ball, forced them to take themselves out of the game. And I really never had to do anything. Still had one boost. And that was 
basically the first episode. I hope you guys enjoyed and could take something away from uh, this video so you can actually improve yourself as well. Um, seems like it was still a champion 2 lobby, but probably Division 4. Let me know in the comments uh, how you enjoy this type of series. And also let me know some uh, nicknames for uh, may potentially the next couple of episodes, right? Maybe the one with the most likes, maybe I'll use it, you know, it depends. But let me know in general some feedback in the comments. Ask me anything. I'm going to try and read every comment if I can. Thank you so much for watching. Again, rate the video with a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and type something in the comments. With that being said, see you guys in the next video. Peace.